one class uh, that is very difficult to talk about optimization with is the Barbarian. This is because one of their core features is Rage, um, which means we can't concentrate on spells. Haste and Spiritual are some of the best options out there in terms of uh, <laughs> increasing damage, uh, especially with like attack rolls. So it's rough, but let's get into it. So normally you can't really control what items you'd get unless they're sturdy equipment or like weapons and, and stuff like that. Um, so like mundane equipment. The one mundane equipment that has a very niche usage is the flask of oil. The uh, flask of oil, when we deal <coughs> fire damage to a creature who has the flask of oil oil spilled on them, takes an additional five fire damage. Pretty simple in concept. So essentially, um, we're gonna be making use of this. I know this seems weird because we're doing barbarian, but just just bear with me. So we're gonna go ASMR. I'm not really sure how many tanches we're gonna actually get to uh, have to do the original ASMR with the, um, with the level, um, damage instead of proficiency, but I think we can at least squeeze this one in, hopefully, um, legally, I should say. Uh, then, well, we're barbarian, which means we're strength-based, so we want to have strength our highest 17, um, then we're going to want to have concentration, uh, constitution next for 15. Um, you want at least 13 charisma and uh, at least 13 wisdom. Now, uh, of course, we're going to start out with barbarian. Barbarians get the rage feature. That's their core feature. Uh, so at first level, we, we get additional damage with our warp attacks when you rage. But your first level is plus two, so just a nice little buff there. Um, <clears throat> we cannot concentration spells. Weapon tech has to be using strength. Um, we have resistance to bludgeoning, piercing, slashing damage, probably the biggest uh, effect of this. And then um, we have advantage on the strength checks and strength saving throws. Uh, oh, oh, we also can't cast spells or concentrate on them. So our rage lasts for one minute. Um, activate as a bonus action, you can end it. We have to, to deal damage or take damage for it to each turn for it to stay up. And then we have our armor and defense, which is 10 plus our dex mod plus our constitution mod. Um, when we're not wearing armor, uh, we can use a shield like this one, unlike Monk. Um, second level, we get Reckless Attack. Again, these are just base bar barbarian abilities. Um, we can basically give ourselves advantage on our attacks to uh, have advantage on attacks against us. This is really nice because, again, we're a barbarian, which means we're not going to be concentrating on spells. Um, <clears throat> we're not, which means we don't have to worry about being hit as much, and we can take a lot of damage. So, like, having advantage just makes it easier to hit stuff, which is nice. So, at, at second level, we also get danger sense. This one isn't really useful to us. Um, uh, I mean, it's it's fine, like not DBR wise, but we have revenge on dexterity saving throws against effects we can see, which is like pretty much most effects, because like we, you can see fireballs, you can see, and this is like from an invisible like a snare trap. Wait, no, but you, it says you can. You, it says effects you can see like traps and spells. So it, it basically just when we're not blind and definite. It's just it's a weird caveat. But anyways, at third level, we finally get our primal path. So um, there's a lot of interesting options. Um, you might be thinking, well, in terms of damage, wouldn't Zealot be the best? Yes, Zealot is a very solid option because it gives us extra damage equal to our level. I mean, half half our level um, in Barbarian for attacks, which is honestly not that much because it's just, or, and then plus d6, so it's just gonna, and once per turn, so it's basically just an average of 13 extra damage at level 20 barb, which you'd never do. It's, it just, it's not a great option. Um, Battle Rager 
is an interesting option if it weren't if it weren't um it's kind of almost strictly worse because our abilities are things that you can just get like through feats and it's just they don't help us in terms of damage at all like we can you know get another way to dash um without having to take an action to do it and it just it's not really going to work here. Um, then there is the Berserker. Um, and then this one, the, again, we get attack as bonus action, which is nice, but you can just get this as a feat. Um, Totem Warrior, these abilities are <laughs> very non combat. I mean, the first one, it, we can get pack tech at tactics and resistance to all damage, but all, after all the ones, it's like travel pace and things like that so that's like an alpha's <clears throat> wild magic interesting but incredibly unreliable so which leaves us with the beast which we'll do eventually um ancestral guardian which is lovely for ranged attacks we'll talk about that eventually um but it's much more defensive based so um that leaves the storm herald barbarian so the Storm Herald Barbarian is, is very interesting because it is one where we want to go a lot into Barbarian for because its effects scale by level, like a lot of Barbarian stuff. <clears throat> um, essentially, at third level, we get to choose a Storm Era, which can be one of three different auras, Desert, Sea, or Tundra. <clears throat> tundra, you get temporary hit points, um, which is going to help us turn damage. Sea, which is interesting... Um, when it's activated, so basically we can activate our aura as a bonus action, and then we can keep using our aura on successive bonus actions. So for C, we can make a single target, make a deck save. It takes D6 lightning at 10th, it takes 2D6 at 15th, 3D6, and 46 at 20th. <clears throat> um, and then Desert Barbarian, which uh, when it affects all other creatures in the aura area, take two fire damage. It increases to 3 of 5th, 4 at 10th, 5 at 5th, I mean 15th, and 6 at 20th, right? So, we talked about Flask of Oil earlier. Guess which one we're going to use? We're going to use Desert. So, now, like I've mentioned before, AoE, um, we're going to be assuming you're deal <coughs> dealing damage to at least two creatures. So, at this point, we have... Um, two fire damage to two creatures. Uh, now fourth level, we can ASI. We're going to take great uh, weapon master, so for that, that plus 10, um, and then we get extra attack at fifth level. And then we get our bonus to move speed. So, um, so what's our damage? So we can make two attacks, so we have um, plus three hit, and then D10, and then plus 10 damage. That's 37 for two attacks, plus um, our level for Mace Amar, which is five. So it's gonna be 42, and then we're assuming we're dealing damage to two creatures. So that's going to be five each. I mean, two each, uh, th what we increased to three at fifth level, so that's two each. And then we're gonna have Floss of Oil on each of them, so let's change it to eight each, so it's 16 more. So that's going to put us at 58 damage at fifth level we also deal rage damage so it's it's going to be um two damage per image so it's four more so it's going to boost us up to 62 damage sixth level we get our next uh storm soul uh i mean the next ability which is called storm soul um as our subclass uh so these don't really help us in terms of damage uh we get Desert is resistant to fire damage, and we don't suffer the effects of extreme heat, and we can set flammable objects on fire. C, uh, we gain resistance to lightning, breathe underwater, and have swimming speed of 30 feet. Tundra, resistant to cold, no extreme cold effects, and we can turn a 5 feet cube of water into ice. Seventh level, um, as a barbarian, we get uh, advantage on initiative. And we cannot be surprised. Eighth level is our next A side. We're going to take Gift of the Chromatic Dragon. Um, 
So essentially what this is, is we take our weapon and for one minute it deals an extra D4 of a, of a damage type. Um, since we can use fire, since it's any elemental type, and we have the flask of oil, it's going to be five more damage per attack. Um, ninth level, our rage damage goes up to three. We get brutal critical, <coughs> which um, when you roll a crit, we can do one additional damage die. And then um, we get a 10th level. We get uh, another subclass ability, which is Shielding Storm, which um, we we can choose creatures in our aura to gain resistance from our Storm Soul feature. Um, but we also now deal four damage from our desert AoE damage. We're making two attacks, D, uh, D10 plus three, <coughs> plus d4, plus 5 from fire damage, plus 10 from great weapon master, plus 3 from rage, twice. This is 58, plus 10 ASMR levels, so it's going to be 68. Um, and then we have our aura, which is going to be 4, um, plus 5, so it's 9 on each of them. So it's going to be 18 more, which is going to lead us up to 76 damage. At level 10, which is pretty nice. Level 11 in Barbarian, we get Relentless Rage, which is we drop to zero hit points. Um, we don't die at rally. We make a DC 10 con save. If we succeed, we drop to one hit point. And we can keep using this feature. Uh, DC increases by five each time. Um, and then it resets on a short rest. 12th level, or next day side, we're going to take um, Polar Master to get that bonus action D4 attack. Uh, 13th level, we get Brutal Critical, so our, when we deal credit, it's now two additional damage die. Uh, 14th level, we get our final subclass feature, um, which for Desert, I mean, so there's three options. Tendra, um, we can choose a creature in our Storm Era to make a strength save or have its speed reduced to zero. Um, C, we can use a reaction if we get uh, if we hit a creature with an attack to make them make a strength save or we knock prone. And desert, um, when a creature hits us with attack, we use a reaction to deal. And we have them make a deck save. If they fail, they take our fire damage equal to program level. So at this point, it's 14. Um, so it's just a nice additional source of damage. Persistent rage. Um, a rage only ends if you fall unconscious or choose to end it. <coughs> Um, and then 16th level, um, we get another A size, we're going to boost our strength to four. Um, and then our, we're going to do one each, so it's going to strength to four and then econ to three. Uh, so at this point, we're at 16th level, our rage also does four damage. Um, and at 15th, our desert ore increased again to five. So at this point, um, we make three attacks, two as an action, one as a bonus, um, or, and each attack deals a d8 plus four, plus a d4, plus five from fire, plus 10 from great weapon, plus four from raid. So at this point, we still have four more levels. Um, we're going to take uh, a level Hexblade, so that's a perf uh, we, with Hexblade's curse, we deal proficiency more damage um, with our attacks. So, um, with our, our attack rolls, I mean, with our damage rolls, um, and then we have three more levels. So, we're gonna go three into Echo, we're gonna take Great Weapon Fighting Style, probably, and then um, we get second one, Jack and Shirts, sure, all that good stuff, and then finally Echo, which uh, we can spend uh, use um, number of times you constitution modifier to make an additional attack. Um, so at this point, <coughs> we, uh, we had, you know, add six to our, each of our attacks. So we make three attacks, two as an action, one with echo. Um, we already know the damage that, that d10 plus five plus 10 plus d4 plus five plus four plus six. Um, that's 104 damage and we deal, uh, 10 damage from the aura times two. So it's gonna be 20 more damage. Um, and then plus 20 ASMR, plus 16 
plus five because it's still fire, so we're gonna do that oil as a reaction, so it's 175 damage total. Um, is this all we can do? All right, so what if we only go 14 barb? Well, that means our rage damage is only plus three, and um, <clears throat> our, uh, our reaction is only going to be 14, and um, those are the only real drawbacks. In this point, we have two extra levels, so we're going to get two into spores. So each attack now deals an extra d6. So it's d10 plus 5 plus 10 plus d6 plus d4 plus 5 plus 3 plus 6 is 118 damage altogether. And then 4 right now is only 4 instead of 5. So it's just 9 damage on 2 is 18. And then reaction 14 plus 5. And then 20 from ASMR. And so it's 175 damage total. Now, this is pretty um, incredible when you think about it because it's no spells involved, right? Just raging. We use our bonus action for this really niche, interesting thing, fun uh, uh, flask damage. Um, and then we're only making three attacks per turn. Uh, and we get 175 damage. The same for either, but it's it's pretty nice. Like when you think of Barbarian, because Barbarians, like, they're really good at taking damage, they're really good at critting. Average damage are just fine. And so this is really nice uh, to be able to do this, especially with a Barbarian. Um, again, you know, Beast is a one exception. We can get pretty great, uh, great options with that. But I hope you like this um, Barbarian build. This is Sean from Dodeck Dungeon, signing off.